you know, for years the seawater desalination project has been a hot topic. Reason being because on and off the coastal bend falls into a drought. And as you may recall, this area is in a stage one water restriction. So our Ashley Gonzalez actually spoke with city officials about this tonight and has this update for us tonight at 10. Following a dangerous drought in 2011, an idea was born to bring a more resilient, reliable, and cost-effective water source to the coastal bend. More specifically, a drought-resistant water supply that can produce up to 20 million gallons of potable water daily. Esteban Ramos is the water resource manager for the city of Corpus Christi. He says after years of expert testing and verifying, the desalination project could be starting within the next few years. We would uh, begin producing water by the 2026, 2025, 2026 time frame. So we've been working towards that uh, timeline. Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo says the goal is simple to make sure clean and affordable water is accessible. As mayor, I want the best possible water delivery plan um, that's going to consider uh, the, the, the water rate for right, our customer. Ramos added, the city's been working for years to ensure fair prices for customers. 25 cents per thousand on their water bill for a uh, future water supply uh, project. In the meantime, although the coastal bend is not expected to see the full project for a few more years, a mild water shortage watch still remains. And there are ways we can step up and do our part until then. Use a sponge rather than run your faucet. You don't need to water your grass in the middle of the hottest uh, time of the day. Uh, try to do it in the morning. Uh, before 10 a.m. or late in the evening after 6 p.m. Ramos says the city plans on placing the desalination plant under the Harbor Bridge. This way, it's a respectable distance from the community. Asha Gonzalez, 3 News.